I'm Amit Sachdev. I'm the Director of Neuromuscular Medicine here at MSU Healthcare. We're going to be talking about how we diagnose myasthenia gravis. There are three tools that we use. The first is the physical exam. So the physical exam focuses on th four body regions. The first is the eyes. We're looking for weakness with eyelid closure. The second is the mouth. We're looking for weakness of the lips. We'll have patients close their lips very tightly and try to open them against resistance. The third is the body, and this body exam is split into arms, where we focus on the deltoid and legs where we focus on the hips, the ability to rise from a chair, for example. The second way that we try to diagnose myasthenia gravis is with blood work. The blood studies for myasthenia focus on the different markers for your body causing inflammation in the muscle. Those markers are your antibodies, they are antibodies to acetylcholine, musk, M-U-S-K, and striational antibodies. The third part of diagnosing myasthenia gravis is the EMG, also known as the electromyogram. With the EMG, we apply a stimulus, that is, we shock you, and we get that stimulus to go down a nerve and cause a muscle to twitch. What we're trying to understand is how reliably does the nerve cause the muscle to twitch. If it does so reliably, that suggests that the nerve is healthy. If it doesn't, it suggests there's a problem. Three ways to diagnose myasthenia often using all three, the physical exam, blood work, and EMG.